Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me. I know it's been a while since I've updated, so I'm doing a driving to my destination update because, well, it's the only time that I've had while I've had my camera with me to kind of do an update. So, um, yeah, a lot of things have been happening lately. Uh, medically speaking, I went to the doctors and my A1C is down to 8.2 um, from 9.3. So in three months, I was able to bring my uh, A1C down that much. Uh, I've lost a little bit of weight, uh, about 15 to 20 pounds, but I think I gained like 10 of that back and my joints are just freaking killing me um, I've had bad knees to begin with in the past and they been bad knees just run in my family like my dad has had his knees he had his knees replaced my grandfather had his knees replaced my uncles have all had knee surgeries of one kind or, or another so it's just a genetic thing with the Peterson men um, it also doesn't help that we're built like brick shit houses either, but yeah, there's that. Um, let's see. Went out to Portland about a month and a half ago and um, went to a couple of vegan restaurants when we were out there and was really impressed. And actually, once I got home, I still had the craving for like vegan food. I'm just not. <clears throat> brave enough to ditch the meat and switch over to veganism. So, I mean, I'm not against eating vegan, but financially speaking, it's a little expensive for me to try to do, and a lot of the things that vegans eat put you into um, ketosis, and being a diabetic who naturally slips into diabetic ketoacidosis um my doctors have kind of recommended that i don't do a vegan diet or anything that would already snap me into um any kind of ketosis so that's kind of out of the question but you know i had a lot of fun while i was out there um i went to the portland uh open air swamp meat and hung out with the biological egg donor so yeah that was a lot of fun um, got some travel plans coming up that were just sprung on me spur of the moment this morning <clears throat> uh, it looks like my mom is going to be coming up here to Washington and uh, possibly buying a motorhome and if she does she wants me to ride with her back to California and then she's gonna fly me back home after my visit with her so um, I was planning on going down there already like in September I wanted to go when it was a little bit cooler because you know even though I'm from Palm Springs um, it's just one of those things that I got climatized to Washington weather so really anything over 65 and I'm sweating like today right now it's 67 and I'm so freaking hot it's not even funny <clears throat> but yeah my mom makes fun of me all the time saying well you're from Palm Springs and you're used to it being a hundred and thirty outside I don't understand I'm like mom I just got climatized you know growing up out in the desert my dad always had really good working air conditioners because he would work uh, eight to ten hour days out in the blazing sun all day long and come home and just want to decompress <clears throat> so we had two air conditioners one in his bedroom and then one in the living room and so whenever I would come home from school I'd go into his room turn on the AC and get his room all nice and frosty cold and then I would turn the AC on in the house so it would always be like 70 72 or something and it'd be like 140 degrees outside just really 
stupid hot. Like, it's the kind of hot that you just walk outside and you feel violated. You just walk outside like, what the fuck? Really? Um, people all the time say, oh, I, I couldn't live in that type of heat or whatever. And actually, in all honesty, in the California heat, especially in the Palm Springs area, now this doesn't ring, ring true for like Los Angeles or any place that has a lot of smog, but anything over 105, you really don't feel anymore. It's just levels of damn it, why? <laughs> um, and then walking in from, or walking outside from inside of a cold house, it's like a physical force field pushing you back. Um, in the morning when I would get ready for school, it would be so cold in the house and like really humid and muggy outside and I'd walk outside and my glasses would instantly fog over. Um, one summer, we watched the windows crack. It was 119 out that day and um, we had the AC on and it got like really cold and we just heard this snap and we looked and there was a huge uh, crack that went across the window so yeah that was a lot of fun um, but yeah so some travel plans uh, trying to make some plans with my friend Dory um, but it doesn't look like that's going to pan out this month uh, she wanted to go over to Whidbey Island and go explore um, the whole island and stuff so unless we do it like this coming up weekend or next weekend I may not be able to do that with her and I know it's gonna piss her off because she's been um, budgeting to go so I I'm meeting up with her later and we're gonna go walk around downtown and have some coffee and stuff like that so yeah but above and beyond that been doing really good um I've had some depression and anxiety bipolar moments um I wanted to go camping with my friends a few weekends ago and I wasn't able to my anxiety just would not let me it kept like playing in my head that I was stupid I was worthless no one want, wanted me to be around no one wants me around. They were only inviting me because they were being nice and they felt obligated and all this other stuff. And I know that that's not the case because the people that I have in my life that are friends, um, they're all very supportive of me. They all love me. They all take care of me. Um, my friend Carmen, she checks in with me all the time. Every morning she calls me. We talk like three or four times throughout the day. And I have other friends that check up on me. Friends that I don't see every day, but still check up on me. Um, I have a girlfriend in California, or in um, Las Vegas. We talk multiple times a day, if not multiple times a week. We have three, four hour conversations on the phone and stuff like that. And so, you know, I know that those feelings of anxiety or whatever, aren't real and that the people in my life actually do care and love me so it was just that day I was not able to get get it together and so I missed out on the camping trip all because of my depression and the bipolar and my anxiety and stuff telling me all kinds of things that were not true and in a moment of weakness, I listened to it, and yeah, so, anyways, <clears throat> enough about that, because it's starting to piss me off, and I'm getting ready to go out to lunch with my sister, and I don't want to be angry, um, kind of taking the long way to get to her work, because I thought I would be done with the video by now, so, anyways, yeah, there's a just a lot of things going on I'm trying my best to do my best and be supportive and be there for other people as they are for me and um, been doing a lot of craft projects been getting realigned with my spirituality and that's been really nice um, 
still feeling kind of disconnected from um, having a community or communion to hook up with people. Like I'm missing the fellowship aspect of it, so I'm gonna be trying to change that pretty soon. Um, with doing like a meet and greet with like-minded people in my area. Um, so yeah, there's that. Right now, if you hear all the bumping and clattering, it's because I'm driving through our marina. And this is called Boat Haven here in Port Townsend, Washington. And it's where they build all these boats and stuff. And that's just a natural marina. Well, not a natural marina, but it's a marina nonetheless. So, yeah. Got a lot of things going on. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video and touch base with everyone because I know it's been forever since I've uploaded one and I'm gonna try to upload a couple of more if I do end up going out on or if I do end up going with Dory and I'm also gonna try to do like a compilation or I can't say that word right now but several videos made into one video of my trip out to California and while I'm out and about and all that other fun hoopla. So anyways guys, um, thank you for being subscribers and watching this video. And if you aren't a, a subscriber, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment section down below. And um, if you have an idea or a topic for a video, send me that in, in an email or put it in the section down below my email is hello cupcake it's me at gmail.com and um, check out the blog because there's a lot of stuff that I post on the blog that I don't make videos about and that is hello cupcake it's me dot com so anyways thank you guys and I will talk to you later bye